Hi and welcome back to my channel. As you saw by the title, today we are talking about my fitness, health, weight loss journey. So let's start from the beginning. I was thinking, where did I, when was the first time that I ever thought about this whole losing weight thing? And as far as I can remember, I was always into sports. So I was always running around, I was doing some kind of activity. Activity. I was either in sports, dance, something, whatever, but I never worried about like what a number said on a scale, what size clothes I was wearing. I just, whatever got me to be able to run down a basketball court or do whatever, that's all I needed. I didn't need anything else. It wasn't actually until senior year of high school when like prom and stuff was happening and that I was like worried about what size was that? How did I look in something? And that started my whole journey of like having to, I was watching what I ate. I would count calories, I would um, exercise. I was waking up in the mornings and working out and working out when I got home because I'd actually stopped doing the sport, doing like actual sports by my senior year of high school. So um, I wasn't as active as I normally was before. So I'm pretty sure like pounds got on, but then, you know, obviously as a 17 year old, any kind of like loss of calories and exercise, they dropped. So I was for what I normally skinty. Like I look back at those pictures and go, ooh, I almost look like I wasn't eating because I wasn't. And that's what started this trend that I've now noticed with myself of, I go hard in the paint for a event, for losing weight, making sure I look good for that. And then in my head, I'm thinking, okay, I'm just using this as motivation, but it's gonna keep going. But as soon as that event happens, whatever like motivation I had goes away and I stop and then I gained everything that I lost back. And in some instances, more. So then I, look, I looked at that and then I was like, okay, what's another thing that's been keeping me from like keeping pounds off? And that another big thing is I've learned, like I had to reconnect with myself. I had to learn about myself. Like I seriously had to sit down about why keeping pounds off or why keeping a regimen of eating right or any of that was hard to do for the long term for me. And that literally came with my thought process. So as I just said, it started way back from the first time that I ever thought about weight, health, whatever you wanna say. And it's because it's always been, I do it for an event. When I look back on the times like, cause I've had plenty of Instagram or Facebook posts about, oh, I'm getting healthy. I don't care what I look like, but I'm gonna get healthy posts. I'm pretty sure I can insert them here. But at the end of the day, what I was actually doing was getting a certain weight or trying to get a certain weight for an event, whether it be a uh, turning 30, going out of town, um, going on a cruise, which was the best cruise. I ended up getting engaged on it. Down below I will list the video of that. Um, being in my line sister's wedding, and because also with that, we had a trip to the Dominican, so I wanted to look good for that. And then in turn, right after that, I had my own wedding. And so then it just was like, oh yeah, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm getting healthy. When actually it was just event, event on top of the event that I was trying to look good for. So I had to wrap my head around the fact that while I was lying to myself that events were gonna help me reach small little goals that would get me to big goals, they were actually just things that kept me in line but didn't really get me to a place of where my mindset was changed. Another thing I had to realize about myself was that I eat my feelings. Food is how I, I associate it. So 
if I'm happy, I celebrate with food. I literally would celebrate me losing five pounds with saying, let me go get some food. That makes no sense, but that's what I did. Um, I would be stressed. I would eat food. As I spoke before, I had my own wedding and I was going to do this whole, I'm going to put my wedding dress two size smaller so that I make me lose weight. Then I had to remember, girl, when you're stressed, you eat. And one of the most stressful things to do is plan a wedding. <laughs> planner or no planner, something's stressy out no matter what. When I'm depressed, I don't eat. Which actually, like, is a setback because I wouldn't eat, I would get skinny. And then folks would be like, you look good. And then I would continue not eating which completely I cannot keep up with, which then I would double back over and eat too much. So once I had to realize that, I had to go, okay, I can't live that lifestyle where I restrict too much. Cause when you tell me, when I say, oh, I can't eat bread, I would go hard with that and not eat bread for a whole month. But the moment that month was over, Bread would be the only thing I eat. Like fasting for church, oh, it was easy. I could do it. Because, I mean, clearly I'm not doing it. I'm doing it for a higher power. I'm doing it for something other than myself. But putting myself on a no bread diet, just not to eat bread, restricting, and then if I put a time limit on it, or even if I didn't, if at some point I tasted just a little bit, what I restricted myself on, it was over. So I've learned for myself, I cannot restrict. Um, so starting January, I was like, I'm just to get this right. I know, I know everything about myself. And I did everything that I wasn't supposed to do. I was like, okay, I'm gonna not eat carbs. I'm not gonna eat this. I'm not gonna eat that. No sweets, nothing. He went on like one little thing where I tasted it and it was over. Also, the scale rules my life. Whenever I start to do it, I go, oh, I'm just gonna try not to let the scale rule my life. And I would be good on that. And literally, I'd be on the scale one week and it would show that I lost weight. And I'd be like, yes. But at any point, if it did not go down or it went up, my brain just went, well, this, I'm gonna eat whatever I want to because why starve myself and nothing happened? I was starving myself, so clearly my body was like, I'm not going to lose weight. Workout has never been the hard part for me. I will back up. The month of March, I simply was like, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to set up a program. I'm not going to do anything that says, oh, this. I'm simply gonna watch how I eat, watch what happens, watch what I gravitate to, watch what I don't do. I saw what I gravitated towards. So actually putting in my brain that I didn't have to not eat something. Carbs weren't my thing. I like them, but if I let myself have them and then just be like, oh, okay, it was great. Workout, I also saw in March, workout was the hard, I did not, most of the time, I don't have to motivate myself to work out. I just want to, I like it. It's a great stress relief. So, so I will come in periodically and give updates on how I've been slowly tweaking my eating habits to fit a healthier and eat, let's not lie, I'm not, saying that I'm not trying to lose weight. So just in essence, period, be healthier. So no, it's not about a number on the scale, which, you know, it's not, but I will still be monitoring that to help figure out, you know, what's going on. But I will mostly pay attention to inches and just how I feel. Like, am I getting tired walking up a flight of stairs? Because even though I'm doing cardio, I eating like crap and you know I'm tired or 
those pair of jeans that I couldn't fit into a long time ago. Am I able to fit into them? Even though I might be 10 pounds heavier than I was when I fit into them. But, you know, the whole muscle fat ratio thing that they tell you about that I'm just now really gonna start trying to believe. This is the beginning of a new journey. Oh my gosh, I don't know if y'all can hear him back there, but he is doing something. And I doing this one to keep myself accountable, but also so that like you can see yourself because there's so many times that I watch fitness videos and I'm like, oh, that's so amazing. And that person, I but I can't see myself in it because either there's somebody who their, their job is to be fit or they don't have to go to a nine to five so they can work out for five hours and hope, I hope we get to go along on this together and like if you have any tips for me please leave them down below if you have any tips for each other or if you have any questions on like what am I doing like to keep this going just down down below I am losing sunlight but okay um, and I will be checking in and hopefully so after this I will be posting my some photos that I've been taking that are photos and now I'm going to stop rambling about this and I'm thanking you for joining me on this journey already and hope that we can do this together that like they say hot girl summer but I'm gonna say hot healthy me forever that that's in no way fun to say or cute to say but whatever when I come up with something if you come up with something post it down below let me know but until then, and as always, until next time, peace, love, and blessings. Thank you. Oh, like, and yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe.